OK, so what I'm going to be talking about is generating random well-type terms. Um, and well-type terms are nice because they tend to make good test cases. Uh, if you've used Red X in the past to generate, to, if you use Red X's random test case generation capabilities, you've probably generated uh, terms from a grammar like this, and you've found that uh, they contain a lot of uh, free variables, or even if, if, the, if uh, you manage to, to find a way to fix them so the variables are, bo are bound, they may, uh, they may be untyped. And so um, you can struggle to find good test cases. And you spend a lot of time running functions to um, fix the terms that you're generating so that, so that they make good test cases. So um, instead, the approach that we're trying to take here is to use the typing judgment to generate the terms so that all of the terms that you get as test cases are already well typed. And you tend to get um, more good test cases and much more interesting test cases that way. So what I'm going to do is um, generate some terms for this language. So I'm just going to go through this quickly. Um, so it's just a, a, a type lambda calculus. Um, we have functions with a type annotation, applications, uh, conditionals, and pluses uh, with a single base type of numbers. Um, so then some context and, and stuff for typing and evaluation. So here's the. Uh, type judgment. Um, so this should look pretty familiar. If you've used Red X or um, if you are used to looking at, at type judgments, it should look hopefully familiar with, with the addition of a few parentheses. Um, so the type judgment uh, depends, and all of this should, you know, sh we have uh, above the line the premises and then the um, conclusion. So. Uh, all this should look hopefully fairly familiar. Uh, and the type judgment depends also on this lookup meta function. So if we want to satisfy terms that satisfy, if we want to generate terms that satisfy this type judgment, we're going to have to satisfy uh, this, this judgment form and, and the lookup meta function. Okay. So those are the important things to keep in mind. Um, also, there's just there's a function that just checks to see if a term is well typed and returns false if it's not, otherwise returns the type. And then here's the reduction relation, um, which is, is fairly standard. And also here I've defined uh, my own substitution function. Uh, usually if you use Red X, you can use a kind of a can substitution function that comes with Red X. Here I've defined my own so that I could add a bug, which I'm going to try and find in just a second. So um, it's going to kind of go through this. So there's the substitution stuff. And then I have a predicate that checks to see, um, given some term, I'm going to check to see if it's well typed. If it is, then I'm going to reduce it and check to see that the result has the same type. So check to make sure that the type is preserved if I evaluate this expression. So. Uh, here I have my uh, test. So this is Red X check, and it just takes uh, the language. And this, this is kind of the old style Red X check where you just give it a pattern. And it's going to generate terms that satisfy this non-terminal. Okay? And then given those terms, I'm going to check and see if the type is preserved. So I'm going to run this. And oh, how did this? And so uh, I didn't find any bugs. So the default number of attempts is 1,000. So I'm just going to try a couple more, maybe 10,000, and see if I find anything. So uh, I still didn't find the bug. And um, so with this method, uh, I ran it for, I think, about an hour or two last night, and I didn't find this bug. So um, now at this point, I might think, well, either I'm confident that my program is correct, or um, I could set about writing a function that's going to fix my terms so that I get better, uh, better tests. Uh, instead, 
what I'm going to do is tell Red X that I want to generate terms that satisfy the typing judgment. So now it's going to use the type judgment to gener generate terms that, ha that, are, that have some type, that are well typed. So now let's see if I run this again, what happens? So it's taking a while, but hopefully it won't take an hour. Okay, so there we go. So I found a counterexample. Um, so just to show you, the bug that I added was here in the substitution function. Um, when I recur on the conditional expression, I accidentally copy the test into one of the branches. So that's a pretty um, egregious bug, but I still wasn't able to find it with kind of your basic just generating test cases uh, from a grammar. So um, just to give you an idea of what kind of terms you're getting out of this, let me generate a couple. So if I generate 20, Make sure it was that. I, I just I couldn't. I wasn't sure if I could remember the tame, name of that function. So, okay. So, um, so these are nice looking terms, and they tend to make pretty good test cases. Uh, one thing you probably notice is that it took a second or two to generate twenty terms. So it's not super fast. Uh, so one of the things that we've looked at is whether or not it's, uh, it's still effective in general compared to, uh, compared to the standard generator. So here's a uh, evaluation that I put together of the effectiveness of this type of generation. So uh, al along the bottom, you have a bunch of different Red X models, uh, which I've added a single bug to each. And uh, then run for a long period of time and seen what the average is, the average amount of time it, is, it takes to find the bug. And so um, the red, red circles are the old generator, just uh, generating terms that satisfy a grammar. And the triangles are the type generator. So, and this is a log scale. So uh, you can see that it's, we're getting, it's, you know, 100, uh, 100 up to 1,000 or more times faster for a lot of these bugs. Uh, is that in terms of time or is that the number of, that, I guess it's about seconds, right? It is in terms of time well, because... In terms of number of terms you have to search for, that seems an almost as interesting metric. Uh, Wait. Yeah, it's much, because it's much slower. So you're getting, uh, I'm not sure how that compares, but... Um, Yes, it would. <laughs> yes, it would. And and it's all and that's and uh, I think there's a lot we could do to speed up this generation method too. So uh, we could improve this graph a lot because the the ratio of terms is huge. Yeah. yeah. Um, so just let me say uh, one or two things about how this works, um, and then I'll wrap up. So basically, all we do is. Uh, we run the judgment form, we just kind of treat these as horn clauses and run the judgment form as kind of a random form of prolog. Uh, and we just randomly reorder the clauses every time we want to unfold the predicate. Uh, and it's a little bit more different for meta functions because uh, in order to reorder the meta function, we have to add um, disequality constraints. So if we want to say expand uh, the second clause, then we have to add a constraint that tells us that we aren't able to satisfy the left-hand side of, of, of the ones before that. Uh, and, and that's it. So. Uh, so you can't, oh. <laughs> How well does this work for encoding something like system F? Um, and there's, that reminds me of something that I forgot to mention, which is that um, the limitation to this method is that you cannot, you, you cannot use it with ellipses, which is fine for system F, but you also can't use it with uh, uh, judgment forms that have unquote 
uh, in, I'm quoting in them. And so you can't define type substitution. So can encode system F. Yeah, I guess so if we were to add binding forms to patterns and then support that in the logic language, and, and, yeah. So uh, you talked just a little bit about the implementation. So I was just curious, how, how was it really complicated to compile to C canon? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it. So, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, well, this is, uh, so, Jay asked if it was really complicated to compile to C Canon, and uh, the answer is it probably wouldn't be. Uh, this is a, a ad hoc implementation of part of something C esque <laughs> underneath. So um, I think a, the plan is to replace that with C Canon, which would probably make it a lot faster. <laughs>